Welcome back to the project. Today we're going to show you how to fix a broken, snapped off dipstick on a Jeep Wrangler engine. So you can see the dipstick broke off inside of the tube at some point in time. It's like that when I bought it. So unfortunately I wasn't able to check the condition of the oil. And uh, the only tools you're really going to need for this are a half inch socket and an E7 external Torx bit. First we're going to start by loosening up the nut uh, on the stud here that's holding the dipstick tube in. We're just going to loosen it up. We don't have to take it off all the way. But, uh, we're just going to loosen it up enough so that that wire that's grounded in there can spin when we spin the uh, actual stud. Okay, got it loosened up enough where we can just take this wire and move it. And that's all we need. Now we're going to use the E7 Torx bit to uh, loosen up the stud. We've got that loosened up, we're just going to Push it off to the side now. Uh, just take note that these two wires that are grounded to the stud and go on opposite sides of the dipstick tube. So go around, it really shouldn't matter, but make sure to put it back how we found it. Now uh, it's going to be a good idea to just spray around the base of the dipstick tube with some brake cleaner or some carb cleaner or something like that and maybe hit it with a brush. We've got the base of that cleaned up good enough. See it's still a little dirty but we got most of the gunk off. And, uh, now to remove the actual dipstick tube, uh, we're going to just kind of work the, the tube back and forth. It's more or less kind of a press fitting into the engine. There we go. Now just make sure you don't drop anything in here while you're doing this. So with the dipstick tube removed, uh, the end that's in the engine you'll see the dipstick sticking out a little bit and if you're lucky you'll be able to just grab that and push it through. But unfortunately uh, I wasn't that lucky. I ended up having to drill out the uh, whole plastic piece that was on the end of the dipstick there. Uh, I just ended up uh, using a drill bit that was probably about half the width of the tube. And uh, I drilled a few holes in it and was able to loosen it up enough where I was able to push it out like that. So once you have the actual dipstick removed from the dipstick tube, you're going to want to clean both the inside of the tube and the part that goes back in the engine. Uh, clean that real good with some brake cleaner or carb cleaner, uh, whatever you have. Definitely helps to have it in an aerosol can to get it inside there. So we're just going to clean that up. And we're going to slide it back into the engine, put the stud back on, tighten the nut, and uh, we'll be done. So make sure this gets seated back in all the way to where it was when you pulled it out. Might help if you put some oil on it, lube it up a little bit. 